And with regards to the EU, yes, I'm confused. Of course I'm confused. How can you not be? Because the media's narrative is all about who's fighting who and who's going to be on the winning side uh, without any actual information. How can you possibly make an informed decision unless you're properly informed? Alex... You're right. The EU, it's all about trade, the free market, capitalism, basically. There is nothing socialist about it, apart from the reasonable argument that we are stronger collectively. But the economic benefits, they are hard to ignore. There are three million jobs in this country that rely on trade with the EU. What happens to them if we leave? What happens if we restrict freedom of movement? What do we do about labour shortages? But if we sustain immigration at its present level, what happens to public services? Will the NHS be able to cope? If you are a business that deals with the rest of Europe, the EU is great for you. Free movement of trade, free movement of people, resources, free movement of money, pretty much. It makes it easier for you to exploit the little person to make your business more money. But if you're a business that doesn't deal with Europe, competing with someone like China, the EU is a disaster because you've got things like living wages, workers' rights, health and safety. It makes it harder for you to exploit the little person to make your business more money. So either way, in or out, the little person is getting fucked up hard by someone somewhere. The real problem that no one is willing to admit is that nobody knows what will happen if we do leave, because nobody's ever done it before. But nobody knows what will happen if we stay. If we stay, will we be forced to sign TTIP, which, if we do, will be the death knell of the NHS. The Remain people say we should stay in to reform the EU. Well, history tells us that simply isn't going to fucking happen. Labour and the left, they have always traditionally been anti-EU, or as it was, the EEC. But now we are in this ridiculous situation situation where the traditional left-wing view is only being argued from a right-wing standpoint by political jesters like Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage. And because everyone thinks UKIP are a bunch of racists, old-school lefties like me are scared of being pro-Brexit by association, even though the Tories and Labour were both overtly anti-immigration in their last manifestos. No-one accused them of being racist. Labour even put it on a fucking mug. This whole debate, if you can call it a debate, this whole debate has been about fear mongering, hasn't it? Nicola Sturgeon, she says Brexit will trigger another Scottish referendum. Fear. Nigel Farage says we'll be swamped with immigrants. Fear. Labour's Keir Starmer says that staying in will protect us against terrorist attacks. Fear. Boris Johnson even wrote an article with the headline, don't be taken in by Project Fear, staying in the EU is the risky choice. Fear or fear? Would you like some fear with your fear? The level of debate has been terrifying. It has exposed everything that is wrong with politics. Donald Tusk says Brexit will bring about the destruction of Western political civilization in its entirety. Fuck off. Boris Johnson says that Hitler would have been pro-Remain. Really? What about Stalin or Genghis Khan? Uh, Jesus, Gordon the Gopher. I wonder if Captain fucking Birdseye would have been pro-Brexit. Cameron says Brexit could bring about World War III. Really? If that were true, why would you ever give the great British public the option of voting for something that could destroy the planet? He also says that ISIS are pro-Brexit. Like they give a... Fuck! I always thought ISIS wanted the wholesale destruction of Western civilization as we know it. But no, silly me, like Captain Birdseye, they're only interested in our fishing quotas. Once again, a national political debate has descended into farce. The left have completely abandoned their principles to support a body that conspires to help massive corporations, many of which we know have got their beady little eyes on our public services, including our NHS. But the left, they want us to stay. And the right, they made the whole debate about personality over politics. Who can tell the most lies in the most charismatic way? Vote leave and you are supporting Boris Johnson or Michael Gove. Vote stay and you're supporting David Cameron. Cameron or Johnson? Fuck me, what a choice. You are caught between the devil and the deep blue twats. <sighs>